Hello everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel to watch another video. Today I am doing my first Etsy cash stuffing for the month of February. I get paid usually twice from Etsy, um, like twice a month from Etsy. So this is the first one that we're going to be stuffing. So let's jump right in and start counting. So I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 300, 5, 10, 15, 25, 325. So this is what I made on Etsy in the last two weeks. Uh, so thank you to everyone who purchased something from my Etsy shop. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, let's get started. So, <clears throat> excuse me. When I get paid from Etsy, the first thing I always do is go to my business binder. I am putting 20% toward taxes. So today that is 65. So we have 50, 65. And so that means taxes has 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 60, 65, 70, 870, and I'll be paying my 2023 taxes um, by the end of the month. So we'll see how much taxes I pay for 2023, and then I'll figure out um, am I putting enough in for taxes or not enough or too much. Um, so we'll see about that. So taxes gets 20% and then I split the other 80% 50-50 between investing back into my business and take home pay like extra money. So um, we're going to put 130 back into my business. So first is shipping and shipping is getting $50. So 20, 40, 50. So shipping now has 20, 40, 60, 75. Materials is empty and it is getting $40. So there's 40. Bills is getting $25. So now bills has $50 in it. And my bills for my little business are about $50 a month. So um, on my next cash stuffing, I'll put in $50, $25 as well. And so I have a little bit of a buffer in here, which is good. Um, and then every other category gets $5. So equipment is, huh, there's someone's phone number on there. Equipment is empty and it's getting $5. Office supplies is getting $5. So now we have 20. And then marketing is getting $5 as well. So we're at 15 in marketing. Okay, so that is it for my business binder. Now we can use the other 40% as take home pay and put it into my savings and um, sinking funds. <clears throat> so we're gonna start with, get ready to hear the number five a lot because most of the things that I'm doing now <laughs> get five dollars but um this is my 500 dollar savings challenge and we're gonna put five in here so let's see if we have a five left yes right there okay 
So in this one, I'm, I think I'm getting fairly close to finishing my first 500. So I have one, two, three, four, eight, 10, 14, 18 left to do. And then I'll have saved my first 500, which is exciting. Next, we're going to go into my 100 envelope savings challenge and we're putting $5 in here. So we'll do the first $5. I'm going to round these up. So like number four, the fourth envelope, I'll put $5 in. Um, so it's going to be more than whatever amount you save. I don't know how much you would save with this challenge. I have to figure that out. Um, but it'll be a lot more than that when I eventually finish it. So out of a hundred envelopes, I've done one, two, three, four. <laughs> so 96 more to go. Okay. <laughs> um, next we'll do my savings binder. So that is this one. And we're going to put $5 into emergency. So now we have 45. And $5 into car emergency. So now we have 45 in here as well. That's it for my savings binder. And then we're gonna go into my long-term savings binder and add $5 to a few categories. So vacations is getting five. And we have 20, 40, 60, 85. Days off is getting five. <clears throat> And we have 100, 20, 40, 65, 165 in days off. We're skipping work trips and travel, but renovations is getting five. So that's $30 in renovations. Posting is getting five. So now I have 15 in hosting. Hobbies is getting five. And now we have 15 in hobbies. Seeing a trend here. Shopping is getting five. Now I have 15 in shopping. And spring is getting five. So I have 15 in spring. Summer is getting five. Oops. So that makes 10 in summer. Um, and I have to say, I am really enjoying these envelopes that don't have a zipper. Like in my business binder, I have the zippered one. But I keep them unzipped a lot anyway, so um, I'm finding these ones with the zipper really easy to, to use. So I'm really enjoying those. Fall is getting skipped. Chicken and Buffer are all getting skipped. This is for Easter and it is getting five dollars. So now we're at 25 for Easter. I'm skipping Halloween and Thanksgiving, and then Christmas is getting 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think I've explained before that I'm using this small tracker to save $100. And then once I save $100, I'm moving it over to this $1,500 savings challenge. So I guess I'm gonna try to do this 15 times. Um, but I think I, this is my second one um, that I'm doing. So once I fill up this one, 
I will add it to my binder and start all over again. <coughs> okay, that is it for my long-term sinking funds. And last but not least is my short-term sinking funds. Okay, so school is getting five dollars. So now I have 45 in school. Finley is getting skipped, but he has twenty dollars. Clothing is getting ten. My last ten. So in clothing I have one hundred in the bank, ten, twenty, thirty-five. So 135 in clothing. Beauty is getting five. So in beauty, I have 10, 20, 35 dollars. Uh, Garden is also getting 10. So in garden, I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. Okay. Date night is getting skipped. I have 35 in date night. Costco, we're getting skipped. It has 30. And gifts, I'm adding 10. So now gifts has $20. Health is getting five. So we've got 35 in health. Giving is getting five. Now I have ten dollars. I donate monthly to the food bank. Um, so every time twenty dollars is in here, I just take it out and put it towards my credit card. And then my last five is going to groceries. This is my grocery buffer, and we have fifteen dollars in my grocery buffer. All right, and that is it for today. Thank you again to everyone who watched this video and purchased something from my Etsy shop. If you like any of the products that you see, I'll have my Etsy shop listed down below and you can go and check them out. All right, I uh, will see you in the next video.